Lagos, the center of excellence, home to over 20 million people from all walks of life trying to navigate the puzzles of the city life. From boardrooms in Marina to codrooms in Ikorodu, the transitional spirit of Lagosians as they need the fight to like the commercial nerves of Nigeria and fourth largest economy in Africa. Within the business districts, the amount of skyscrapers and small-scale enterprises are easily noticeable amidst the cities hustling and bustling. On November 1, 2013, the largest electricity distribution company in Nigeria, Ikeja Electricity Distribution Company, was established within the state with the primary objective of fostering a comfortable and convenient standard of living. Six years after inception, there is still an outcry amongst business owners who lament the pitiable state of electricity supply and the danger this poses to their various means of livelihood. In this community, about 70% of residents are low income earners. Um, 10%, 10 or 20, 20 to 20 percent are retirees. And what their means of life, livelihood was threatened with the um, epileptic supply of power. They need power to drive their equipment or to drive their business. Now, when there was epileptic supply of power, we found out that the economic activity in the community were near zero. Like the issue of um, when we call, talks about our road, if you can see, the whole way is dilapidated. And when we were coming in, we saw the road was good from Ikurudu down here, 15 minutes drive, you are very close to your site or in your site already. But now you can see how it has been going now. When we started, it was just a landlord association before we metamorphosis into Peace and Progress CDA. And to the glory of God, a lot of things has changed. We thank God for the community member for their support. As the name implies, peace and progress. So there has always been peace and progress in this community. <laughs> this is the path walked by members of Peace and Progress Community Development Association in what they described as the most challenging period. We have been having the epileptic power supply and low voltage. And that's based on the fact that the transformer we are on, we are using. There are so, so many loads on it. So in which four CDA are on one transformer. It all CDA is on the transformer. The Garden of Peace is on the transformer. The uh, Better Life is on the transformer. Also Peace and Progress. So as a result of that, we did meet fit within ourselves, within Peace and Progress, to make sure that we made this light, you know, to be regular. So as a result of that, we now think within ourselves that it is high time we need to have a, transformer of our own because of the population of our CDA, because of the rapid rate at which the CDA is growing. Transformer Transformer made up of 21 streets peace and progress community development association is one of the 4,000 registered communities in lagos states located in beribe a suburb of ikorodo local government area majorly dominated by retirees and small-scale business owners Peace and Progress CDA is estimated to have over 180 builder plots with 100 plots of uncultivated grassland. Members of the community narrated that when it looked like they have been caught out of the Lagos state, they had to organize themselves for a common goal. Lati Tamaga, 
titi de agura a ni ona tele 150 ni moto but now 500 naira la nwa gberigbe ta ba wa ni ikorodu garage let's say around 6 o'clock titi na ngba mi to jo ba ro wa ni ri moto awon mo wa ni raye lo si school when we started the cda the community development As development association there has been tremendous improvement in this community. When I say tremendous improvement, I mean, I mean road, drainages, and supply of electricity. Because when we came in, there was nothing in the community. Up till today, everything we did there were through communal effort. We had to task ourselves to grade the roads, to, to, to construct the little drainages we are able to, and also to bring light into the community. We've spent some years without electricity. We had to go get transformer through communal efforts, individual contribution, which we are still on it now. Hopefully at the end of the project, we know commercial activities in the community will increase uh, better than what we have. Now There is no complete drainage on ground when I'm moving and a lot of erosion disturbs the community which we're able to implement or enforce some of the members and pleading to each other we dig a drainage which minimize the effort of erosion or impact of erosion in peace and progress CDA. How do I work with a major road to So I got on the street light. I she street light na she for arawa bi ona ise ogun to o kan le be ni o awon lo mi o gbe nu peace and progress won de wa n gba shop si nu peace and progress nitori pe won ri wi pe awon tan se aboju to be ah o ga ni won the effort are ever baited high and low tension cables street lights for security and aesthetics grading of roads construction of culvert and electricity Transformer to bring back to life commercial activities in the area, amongst many others. We have all been doing it all alone. We've been tasking ourselves to, to, to construct roads, drainages, to, to bring light into this community. And we are, most, most of us are low income earners. Most of us are retirees. Their means of, uh, their income, source of income is very, very low. This is the reason we are appealing to private individuals. We are appealing to corporate organizations to save especially the lives of our children who are our tomorrow. Determined to support the government of Governor Babajide Olushola Sonwolu, executive members of Peace and Progress CDA promise to enforce environmental and traffic laws within the community for a greater Lagos.